about the state of stem cells for arthritis or degenerative joint arthritis. That's the one that occurs with age and motion. And I wrote a book, How to Avoid Knee Replacement Surgery. It's about a five-year-old book. It's still relevant today. So there's different types of stem cells we've been using for the past 10 years or so in our clinic and in the country and the world have been using them for longer than that for different conditions. But really stem cells became more, more or less for prime time in the last 10 years. So stem cells typically are coming from the bone marrow. That's where they drill into a bone and take the stem cells out. We don't use that type of stem cells, or you can justify using that. Uh, Fat-derived stem cells, you have a very rich supply of uh, stem cells in your fat tissue, which is taken out through liposuction. And fat cells from other people, which is actually umbilical cords or placentas, not fetal stem cells or embryonic stem cells. This is from donated placentas and umbilical tissues from healthy healthy babies. And we buy these from, from banks that, that carry them. What's the difference between them? Well, there's not good head-to-head -head comparisons between bone marrow-derived and fat-derived stem cells and umbilical stem cells. They each have studies on their own. We at Allure do not use bone marrow-derived stem cells. It's a little bit more painful procedure. It's not as rich of a supply of stem cells as fat is, although I'm not criticizing or saying not to do it. We just choose not to use that. We have a lot of experience with doing plastic surgery, so we're using a lot of fat-derived stem cells. We're very comfortable getting fat harvested from liposuction. And years ago, we were taking the fat out and we had our own lab where we'd separate the stem cells out. Now what we do is we actually send them to a lab in, in Florida or different states where they actually pull the stem cells out. They're called mesenchymal stem cells and they grow them and they store and bank them for the rest of their life. So if you didn't have the chance to bank your umbilical cord stem cell when you were a baby because they didn't have it when I was a kid, uh, you can certainly get your fat harvested now, get your stem cells banked where you have young stem cells uh, for the rest of your life. And our cells turn over all the time, so your stem cells are always very young, okay? So unlike our cells are degrading, stem cells are young. So an 80-year-old person still has young stem cells. And then uh, umbilical stem cells, we can buy those, and sometimes we'll get those for somebody that doesn't really want to have liposuction done. Uh, we're, and that's something that works very well, is very, very good as well. What are the most common areas we use stem cells at for orthopedic issues such as degenerative joint arthritis? By far the most common is the knees. That's a very common issue. We spend in America hundreds, of, about $100 billion a year doing knee replacement which has a significant morbidity rate, which means complication rate. A lot of people still have pain afterwards. And once you have that knee replacement, there's a clock ticking before you have to have it done again. So a lot of people are wishing to push that out as long as possible, maybe even forever, by doing stem cell therapy to help regrow some tissue. Now, there's been a lot of discussion on how this is working, and the jury's still out on exactly what's happening, but we have a pretty good idea. So with current stem cell techniques, and there's ones in other countries that may I'm not going to talk about that are different where they're inducing them, but current stem cell technology takes young stem cells, they're processed in a certain fashion, and they're injected into the joint that has, that has arthritis. But even if you have bone-on-bone -bone arthritis, there is some healthy cartilage in there that has inactive stem cells. And what's happening is that the sick cells that are causing arthritis are putting out a little juice, a little you know, say a cytokine, a little carrier called SASP, telling other cells not to grow not to fix themselves, not to replace themselves. This is called senescence. And we put stem cells in, it actually wakens those live stem cells up in the joint and they start reproducing and start growing cartilage back. We see changes in the x-ray and MRI with it, in, in the CAT scan where the tissues get thicker again. Pain goes down, function gets better. The bones don't change, but the cartilage does get thicker. In clinical studies, probably last anywhere from two to seven years of, of, joint, re, of joint pain relief. And why does it last not forever? Well, whatever happened to give arthritis in the first place, that's still going on in your life. So you might combine that with physical therapy or some exercise therapy to reduce the chance of developing arthritis again. So kind of in summary, stem cells are harvested from your fat. That's what we do most often. We can do the procedure the same day where we do put stem cells right in your joint and we can send this, your fat tissue you to a lab that will extract the stem cells out. They're called mesenchymal stem cells. And they'll bank them. And they charge you a fee per year to bank them. You can have them bank the rest of your life. And then when you need them, you pay them, you write a check to them. They ship your doctor a little 10 uh, million stem cells. That's enough to do two joints. And you can have it injected into your joints again. This can be done forever because they can actually grow them now. There was a period of time where the FDA was trying to regulate stem cells. That was really in 19 and 20. And they did interfere with stem cell in, in, in America doing fat-derived stem cells. And that was actually overturned. Uh, the government was overstepping their authority and trying to be contend their Congress, the, the FDA was. And it turns out they're, they're not Congress and they really can't regulate your own body right now. And that might change in the future. Right now, stem cells are, are available. So our 
clinic, we're using fat-derived stem cells and umbilical-derived stem cells. There's no guarantee of success, but it's pretty consistently working. We were in a study group with about 200 other doctors doing a, and what's called the IRB, Institutional, Institutional Review Board study. We saw a very high uh, response rate, very low complication rate. And if you can put that off, joint placement off as far as possible, you're gonna live a little bit longer. We know right now that if you have joint disease that's impairing mobility, you're actually shortening your lifespan. If you have obesity and joint pain impairing mobility, you lose about three and a half years not treating it. If you don't have obesity, just joint pain alone, limiting mobility, you're losing about 1.8 years. How do we live longer, healthier lives? So thank you very much.